Yeah, I'm Sophia Hackler. I'm Bella Hackler. I'm Anna Hackler, the mama. Oh, very cool. <laughs> and I'm Tony Hackler. <laughs> you're a whole family and you're here celebrating Veterans Day. Why are you guys here today? Well, specifically for my husband who is a veteran, but he is actually working. So <laughs> <laughs> on behalf of him. Yeah, we wanted to come out and support our vets because uh, we believe in the camaraderie um, with our town in America because we do realize that for us to have the luxuries that we do in life, that we couldn't be afforded those luxuries without the men and women and their families who support and fight on the lines for our safety each and every day. So to do a little gesture like this and come out and support our vets and their families, it's just the simplest thing we could do to show our gratitude and our thanks to them. Do you guys do this every year? Yes. yes. Every year. Yes. Yeah. Oh, very cool. And does it ever lose its specialness and its amazingness when you guys come out here every year because uh, you guys have done it before? Or is it just the same no, no. excitement? It's, same it's still excitement. the exact same thing exciting every single year. Every year. It's exciting every year. It's really the spirit of it. You know, it's what you carry. And we always have, you know, such support for our military and our veterans. And we could be just a few people here and we'd still be here like, yay, you know. Awesome. Very cool. Don Daverin, I was in the Navy. Well, we are the post that actually started the, the parade and has been uh, responsible for running it ever since. And uh, as veterans, we, we value uh, honoring the others that are serving. So, uh, And this time, of course, the, the women haven't had their day and they decided this time is about time that the uh, women who have served I should uh, get honored in it. Uh, my name is Troy Witham. And why are you here today, Troy? Well, I'm here to support our vets. Uh, I'm here with my family. Uh, we've got like 35 of us here all together in a big group. We've been coming. Huge. We've been coming for the last decade. And then primarily is we support my brother-in-law, Gilbert, and his brother, uh, Tony. This year, I believe they're on the deuce and a half truck. They got the ride. Every year we stand down here and shake hands with everyone and celebrate this moment. We are firm believers in our uh, all of our members of the armed services. You know, every year it's the same thing. No matter who's coming out here, no matter what part of our family is in this parade or sitting to the side, we support our veterans. We support our armed services. I have people I work with the other day that are here, actually retired Marines, that always sit in this area and they're not with us today. They're walking around. But we always support our vets. That's the main function of coming here today. And, uh, you know, we all year long we tend to give back to every part that we can. I think we all ought to chip in and help these guys out. These guys are going out, whether they're working as mechanics or whatever in the field or, you know, they're in theater, whatever it is, these guys need support at home. And we haven't taken care of them as a nation the way we should have. And we need to start that. Everyone needs to look at these guys and take care of them.